Boy, the thing she has us do around here. I know. Gosh. On today's Geek Beat, we take a walk on the wild side of 3D printing. I'm John P, and it all begins... Now. This episode of Geek Beat is brought to you by Audible. Yeah, yeah, I know what you're thinking. More boring details about 3D printed guns or cars or houses. Wrong! Today we've got some 3D printed stuff that will blow your mind. Starting with a 3D printer that uses paper. MCOR Technologies uses paper and colored ink to produce ultra-realistic 3D models of human heads, among other things. You can't buy one, but you can rent it for $15,866 per year. The good news is, that includes all the paper and ink you can use. I'm starting a Kickstarter project to get one of these and print copies of Callie's head. Who's gonna buy one? What am I gonna do with all the ones I already have? If that doesn't blow your mind, wrap your head around the genius of InkFactory.com's 3D printed printer cartridges, which they fill with generic ink to avoid paying retail markup. It's genius. Although you won't be getting one anytime soon because you still need a bladder inside the printed shell, and then there's the whole intellectual property thing, but it's nice to see someone sticking it to the man anyway. Speaking of sticking it to the man, would you like to be a millionaire? Well, it doesn't happen the way you think it does, so head on over to audiblepodcast.com forward slash geekbeat and sign up for an account to get a free audiobook download. And when you do, look for Thomas J. Stanley's The Millionaire Mind. It's an awesome book based on a ton of research where Dr. Stanley interviewed hundreds of millionaires and compiled the facts to present a rich picture of their lifestyles. But make sure and get the unabridged version, not the abridged version. It's over 12 hours of content versus two, and you're going to want all the juicy details. Trust me. For example, did you know that your average millionaire might live in a really nice house, but only buys used cars? This book will tell you exactly how they did it, so stop wondering. Audiblepodcast.com forward slash geekbeat. The millionaire mind. You're going to love it. Back to the 3D printing. NASA, which is studying the possibility of replicating Star Trek food replicators by 3D printing edible meals for future space missions. 3D printed cookies, not a problem. 3D printed four course meals, not so much. Tea are gray hot. Other unusual projects include printing 3D shelters for pet hermit crabs and 3D printed shoes. Not for the hermit crabs. Researchers are also going back in time using CAT scans to print 3D models of dinosaur skeletons and King Tut's mummy, while others jump forward to printing 3D bikinis and sex toys. Yeah, seriously, you can download free plans to print your own sex toys from makerlove.com. I've got no idea what Dave is going to show on this screen behind me right now because those things are completely inappropriate for GeekBeat, which proves that I'll read anything they put on the prompter in front of me. P.S. Those 3D printed objects can be a little rough and f*** you, San Diego. Finally, and we swear this has nothing to do with those sex toys, you could also print out body parts. No, not those kind of body parts. Things like ears, which doctors have already done, or even tiny models of yourself, which one Japanese firm now offers for the truly narcissistic. You have a whole shelf of them. <laughs> However, we have yet to see anyone offering the ultimate in 3D printing. A 3D printer that prints 3D printers. I'm John P. Or maybe a 3D printed version of John P. What would you like to print out? Let me know in our G Plus Geeks forum. Original ideas only. Copies of what 3D printers should copy might tear a hole in the universe. Peace. I'm out of here. <laughs> Blue Steel. Today's episode of Geek Me. <laughs> that was awesome. What the heck are you doing? Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Uh, that was so awesome. Okay. Never put off till tomorrow what you can put off till next week. Yeah, no, exactly.